It's time to bulletproof my motor and get my crank cup from Keys Motorsports installed, and I want to take you along with me. All right, we're going to jump on the road here in just a second, but I wanted to give you a long introduction because this is going to be probably one of the most unusual videos I ever do. This isn't a DIY. This isn't a review. What this is, is going to be a time-lapse experience of what it's like to have your crank hub and your S55 motor and your BMW replaced. Now, if you're not familiar with the crank hub, there's a lot of really great information out there. So what I want to do is just give you a quick summary of what we're talking about. So at the bottom of your motor on the inside, there are two long drive chains that come down and attach to this hub that's attached to your crankshaft. There are two sprockets on that hub and it's possible under really bad circumstances that those two, those two hubs could spin independently, which is what they're not, they're not supposed to. If they do, then best case scenario, the timing in your motor is going to be wrong. Worst case scenario, your, val your pistons are going to come up and hit your valves and your motor shot. You're going to have to be, you're going to have to replace your entire motor. So I reached out to Keys Motorsports and, and they highly recommend the RK Auto Works upgraded four pin crank hub. What this does is that this sets into place and I'm going to show you in great detail when we get to that stage. So you're going to see all the pieces and see what it looks like. But this crank hub, it's not possible for it to spin ever. Now, the part itself is not cheap. The labor is even more expensive depending on where you go. So you're going to look at this and go, wow, this that's not a small investment. But for me, I know that even at OEM power levels, it's possible, rare, but possible to spin your crank hub. And as your power increases, your chances of a high torque shift of spinning your crank hub just increases. So I look at this as relatively cheap investment and worth the time. And I get to work with somebody like Ivan at BIMTECH PNW. Ivan does many, many, many of these every single month. He's extremely experienced. He has all of the knowledge and all of the specialized tools to do this job the first time right and do it very successfully. And that's something that is absolutely vital to me. So I'm actually excited to take the car up to him and kind of watch this whole experience. I thought I understood the complexities of what it was going to take to do this job. But really, when we dug into it, it's amazing. And I want to show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and hit the road. I want to take you on this journey with me. You get to watch what it's like to see, to see your motor come apart, to have your new crank hub installed. We're going to walk through that entire experience and I want to bring you with me. Let's go.
break the crank hub bolt loose with the subframe still in place. Um, and then the same thing for when we are installing the upgraded uh, hub. I like to torque it just a little bit and then I put the subframe on and then we do the big torque. So, all right, here we go. Only two millimeter socket on the crank and lefty righty or lefty loosey righty tidy however you want to call that <laughs> all right Let's see how tight it is oh like that That's nice it. nice it. well done man Literally everything's loose and ready to come out, so I want to show you guys how this works. Um, so we'll loosen up the crank bolt, and literally this entire assembly will come apart. So 22 millimeter, one time use bolts, do not reuse ever. And then literally what I like to do is like to get in here and push the hub out. And it literally comes out and it's here but literally in there is that little friction plate that holds everything together and the thing that can ruin your day So, uh, crank bolt is going in. Gotta make sure that you clean it up. I know they're new, but they're still usually dirty. So you wanna clean it up and you wanna make sure that it's completely bathed in oil. The reason for that is you don't want any friction in there so that when you're torquing things to spec and you're torquing it to yield, meaning you're stretching it, you have nothing, uh, you have no extra friction in there that may throw your spec off. should go in there smoothly if it doesn't then you should probably pull things out and double check everything look at that nice and smooth all the way through now I'm not gonna torque it all the way down I'm just gonna get it all snugged up so everything stays true and I'll torque everything up when the actual subframe is uh, in, the, in the car holding the engine So we're about to uh, torque the crank hub and what we're going to be going for is we're going to go for 100 uh, newton meters and then we're going to do a uh, torque to yield of 270 degrees. So we'll do 100 here. And then 270 degrees. So if you think about a clock, 12 o'clock being zero degrees, 
when you get to 9 o'clock, it'll be 270 degrees. Easy peasy, right? This big boy right here. Not that I need it, but uh, <laughs> sure makes things easy. <laughs> exactly. Obviously, make sure everything's locked. It's a big stretch, so. going nowhere boys <laughs>guys all done as you can tell the motor's running perfectly i could not be more impressed with the work done here by bimtech if you are here in the seattle area and even greater than that in the general pacific northwest i have to recommend them if you need to need this job done please give them a call and come have them do your work for you this is something they're super familiar with they're pros at doing this level work and this is the kind of detail work that isn't diy this is professional level skill with professional level tools and you want to make sure it's done right and done right the first time. If you like what you've seen, please click subscribe and the little alarm bell. I have a ton of new content coming and all kinds of future upgrades here for the F87. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.